Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to SiliconANGLE Media's production of theCUBE, live here from Dell Technologies World 2018. I'm Stu Miniman and I have the distinct pleasure of welcoming Walter Isaacson to our program. Author, podcaster, uh, I read every biography that you publish oh, and listen you, to the podcast. I really appreciate podcast. that. So thank you, so. Thank you. Uh, Walter, you know, this is a conference of geeks, you know, and right. I say that lovingly, love 14,000 yeah. people. They love technology, they love ideas. You've had the chance to you know, study and research some of you know, the most brilliant minds uh, you know, that, that we've had you know, over the last couple hundred years. Yeah. Uh, where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, you know, I love the fact that the most creative of people, from Leonardo da Vinci to Einstein, Ben Franklin, but Steve Jobs and Ada Lovelace, whomever they may be, all love both the humanities and the sciences. They stand at that intersection of sort of liberal arts technology. And that's so important in today's world where you can have enormous amounts of data and the question is, how do you connect humans to it? How do you add the human factor? And so that's where I get my inspiration, the people who can stand at that intersection of the humanities and technology. Yeah, uh, one of my favorite books of yours was The Innovators. You talk yeah. about history and there's things that we've been looking at or trying. When you talk about forecasting or predicting something, sometimes we have great ideas, but it might take us you know, decades or longer to, to yeah. get there. Uh, any kind of you know, big inspirations? What do you say to people that work in the tech world as to how what they should think about things like that? Well, first of all, things happen sometimes slower than you expect until that inflection point when they happen faster than you expect. It's like going broke. It yeah, happens exactly. really slow and then it happens fast. Right, well, I guess we shouldn't <laughs> say that in Vegas here where we offer this conference. But I think that the main thing to do is to be one of those people who has an intuitive feel for how humans are going to find a product or a service to be transformative to them. And you know, we didn't know we needed a thousand songs in our pocket until the iPod came along. You know, likewise, we didn't know we needed transistors until somebody invented a transistor radio and we could take it along with us. So what turns us on? What makes us human? Yeah, uh, it, it's so many things uh, there. Uh, you've been not only writing, but you're doing podcasts now. What do you think of kind of the, the state of content? People say sometimes nobody reads anymore. You do hard research, a team yeah. of people. Uh, what, what's your thoughts about content these days? Well, I think the business model for journalism and the production of content has been decimated at times. Partly because it's all ad-driven in terms of journalism and you know, video. And we need to get back to a time when people value content and are willing to have a direct relationship with the content provider. About 80% of the revenue now for say, reported or journalistic content goes either to Google, Facebook, Instagram, some aggregator. So I think we have to look for the next way of finding micropayments, subscription models that work in addition to the advertising driven model. Yeah, there's so many people sometimes, they look at all of this change and they get kind of pessimistic. It's, yeah. you know, well, we're going to have the AI apocalypse or the robots are going to take over. Uh, shows like here, we're, we're the technologists, I say by definition, are yeah. positive about right. technology. When I read your writings, you, you seem to have a very positive Oh, I'm definitely on optimistic about where technology takes us. You know, I write, and the innovators begin with Ada Lovelace, who was Lord Byron's daughter. Her father was a Luddite, yeah. you know, defended the followers of Ned Ludd who was smashing the looms of England thinking that technology would put people out of work. But Ada was somebody who said, I get it, the punch cards telling those looms how to do patterns could make a calculating machine be able to do numbers as well as words, as well as pictures. She envisions a computer. And the notion of technology increases the number of people in the textile industry in England in the 19th century. And the computer has led to so many more jobs and it's destroyed. So I think technology will always augment human creativity, not destroy it. All right. So last thing I wanted to ask you, Walter, is we're, we're here at Dell Technologies yeah. World. 
34 years ago, Michael Dell started this. Yeah. And he, he's a special individual. We've had the opportunity to talk to him, get to know him. Uh, I've told people that, you know, yeah. inside the company, if you reach out to him, he actually will respond. It seems very special in today's day and age. You, you've got background with Michael. Tell, tell us, how do I you think, frame I think it against, begins with his yeah. parents, right. uh, his late mother and his father, his you know, father is still alive, care a lot about education, care a lot about creativity are deeply humane in the sense that they love all of society, humanity, civil discourse, and that's why there's a humanity I see that Michael Dell is able to embed in his products, whether it's the Dell laptop I always use, or the new servers in Dell EMC, which enables people across platforms to say, how do we collaborate, how do we be creative? All right, well, Walter Isaacson, Thanks. thank it's you so much. You. A pleasure, pleasure having you on the program. And you've been watching theCUBE. I'm Stu Miniman. Always check out thecube.net for all of our broadcasts. And we also, like Walter, have a podcast. Check it out on iTunes. Thank you, Stu. Thank you.